It's six after midnight. Late night sports talk with Alex Paddle. The big issue, look, the only issue tonight, the rampant destruction of the Crusaders by the Blues. Now, I'm calling it the Canterbury Massacre. You like that? The Crusaders, they were like lambs to the slaughter, sacrificed to the Blues who, let's face it, they're like gods among the mere mortal rugby teams. Phil, do we have a caller? Yes, we do. Michelle on line one. Michelle, talk to me. What words of praise would you like to bestow on the beloved Blues? Oh, uh, I'm actually calling to talk about the Hurricanes. Oh, look, Michelle, I'm going to have to stop you there. Look, I, I opened up the show talking about how great the Blues are, and you want to talk about the Hurricanes? Look, the Hurricanes have never won a Super 14 title, right? Because they play like the cheerleaders. Why don't you grab your pom-poms, return to the kitchen, and let the real men talk about sport, okay? Don't ever call me back. I want to talk about the Blues and the Crusaders game. What a fantastic game it was. Robbie, yes, Robbie on line two. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you the Crusaders' number one fan, Robbie, who's probably on his knees worshipping the Blues right now. You must be full on humble pie. Are you on your knees? Are you worshipping the team yet? You should be worshipping the Blues. Uh, no, no, not worshipping at all. I just wanted uh, to talk about uh, the good game that it was. Let me, let me relive some of the, the great moments of the game last night. Carlos Spencer, he sidesteps Richie McCaw, your so-called the best defender of the Crusaders, and he outsprits Dan Carter to score a try. Alex, it was an intercept. It was not in front of him. When you've got a star player like Carlos Spencer, that's all you need, mate. Go to the Blues. When Moses led his people, right? It was just Moses. It wasn't the team of Moses. It was just Moses. Who would you rather do, have? Do you have a point to make here? Moses or Mertens? <laughs> Are you, you, you crazy? Mertens looks like a choir boy. He actually looks like one of the cheerleaders. I actually thought he was a cheerleader. Look, remember the movie 300 when the Spartans were trained? They were bred to fight? This is like the Bluesmen. We're closely related. Robbie, which team won last night? I tell you which team. The team that is the greatest team in the world. Maybe Phil should give up smoking. It'll kill him. Alex, it's simple. I just want you to admit that the Crusaders are the best in the world. Oh, mate. Have you, have you got anyone who can run faster than Joe Rockathoko? Do you? If you can't answer, maybe you should ask your mate Phil. Ask Phil! Phil's blood is blue, mate! Let's find out. <sighs> Sounded a bit creepy there, Robbie. You there, Robbie? Hey, what did you guys do to the door, man? This ain't funny anymore, Robbie. Where do you want to play now, Alex? You want to play, Alex? What do you want, man? I told you. Which team won the most Super 14 titles? Answer the question. Look, you've gone far enough, man. Just let him, just let him go, man. Which this team has won the most Super 14 titles? I've asked you time and time again. Say Crusaders. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh. Just let him go, please. Please, Robbie. Come oh, on, Alex. If you don't answer the question, Alex, I'm going to slip that boy's throat. You've seen this, Alex? You've seen this, Alex? Are you like your TV, Alex? It's a blue supporter, you freak! Jersey doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. <laughs> I want you to answer the question. Which team has won the most Super 40 I hear titles? Play it. The Blues have scored the most tries in Super 14 history. 593 tries. Which team has won the most Super 14 titles? Say 
the Crusaders. Crusaders suck! Crusaders suck! <laughs> Guess what, Phil? Game over. Alex, you were wrong. I thought you said his blood was blue. <laughs> Are you there, Alex?